I still remember the first time I met you, the way you smiled at me, which reassured me that there's still some good left in this world. There is pureness and unconditional love. There is honesty and a perfectly splendid heart-to-heart -heart conversation. <laughs> Stay there too. There's some things that I can do without, but some things not you. Oh, I'm never gonna let you go. Oh, I wanna hold on to this feeling that I'm feeling, and I can't believe. For those of you who don't know Mag kind of person who would hate her job and still work on weekends she was she's the person who would make dinner for the people in need but not to her future husband <laughs> she's the person who woke up 4 a.m. for a month to drive me to my office and without complaining once about it I guess we could say our story began the day we stumbled upon each other at Cahoon Creek and Westlake. I never would have imagined that that moment was bringing me a friend that would last a lifetime. I truly think that God and the universe had something in store for us and it all began that day. Unbeknownst to us, but that is how miracles work. They are unexpected, unplanned, unexplainable, and utterly serendipitous. You like that word. To Meg, my best friend in this world. To Meg, my home and my lovely partner, who I drive 50 hours with and still missing, miss seeing her face the very next morning. To Meg, my soulmate, who sitting on a couch and binging movies with can be, be can be the best part of my day. Every day. Moments like that wrap around us and lift us up. And that is exactly what you did the day you entered my life. Not just as a friend, but as a partner, and you haven't stopped since. recognized parts of me that I felt incapable of healing on my own and you've nurtured them. You've shown me new levels of understanding, patience, forgiveness, and joy. You inspire me to show up in life, to show you in the world who I am and who I will become. And the purity you possess makes everyone around you shine. Your unbounded passion is a quality I adore, and watching you put your whole heart and mind into everything you do is a favorite pastime of mine. I don't want your heart to be broken. Don't give it to Some do not believe in love at first sight. However, in that moment when they first met each other, whether or not they were consciously aware, they shared their first exchange, and just like that, Hottie did not only catch the football, but also Megan's heart. Lock all the doors and the windows So no one can find a way in Patty was living in Cleveland and we wanted to see each other. We decided we're gonna go on a camping trip. We sit around the fire and Hattie says, I have to tell you something. He's like, I met this girl. We tell the story, wake up the next day. He's like, I'm leaving. What? You're driving back to Cleveland three hours at midnight. I'm like, what are you going to do when you get there? You're going to go to your house, sleep, and then wake up? And, no, 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 no. I'm going to go to see Megan. Never lose your desperation for Megan. The same way that you were going for it that night. Never lose that. Come on outside where you belong. I know you're scared. I 
look forward to many years of supporting one another through the ups and downs and celebrating the majesty that comes with going through all of it together. It's more than words, the connection we share. So saying I love you has never felt sufficient. However, I'm not sure how to close this love letter without it. So my hottie, I love you so very much and I can't wait to call myself your wife and to call you my husband. I promise to always remember that you're my life's biggest prize and that I'll always seek your best interest, not as a partner only, but as a human being that I always respect and cherish no matter what. In closing, I promise that I'll always be, as our song says, happy anywhere with you. Happy for the two of you. Cheers to many more years of love, laughs, dancing, cheersing, and traveling together. I love you guys. happy that Megan crossed your path. We do not meet people by accident. They are meant to cross our paths for a reason. I have undying gratitude for every person, motion, and moment to see you two fall in this lovely heap of hope and joy called love. This is the only the beginning of commitment and success in all that you do now and always in the name of love. Yeah.